Hello, I am going to show you how to use these lessons to record a um, lesson for your distance learning students. So, um, any of these files here that have the little orange, those are the Google slide files, and then these are the PDF files. So, you're going to open those up, whichever one you want to use, and then you can see it's in a tab. So, I'm going to use Screencastify. Um, if you have a different video recorder, then you can certainly use that, but this one is one I am familiar with. So I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to choose just the browser tab because I only want them to be able to see this lesson. All right, if you're unfamiliar with um, Google Slides, it's like PowerPoint, um, and I'm going to be clicking this present button um, as soon as we start so that the students can only see the yellow part and not the side here. All right, so I'm gonna click record, and I only have it set for five seconds, I believe, to delay before it starts. You can change that and show more options, but I'm pretty good at getting it right in there. So record, then I'm gonna click present, and now this is what they're gonna be able to see um, on the video. And so then I would use my lesson plan book to narrate the video, um, and then I would use my arrow key to change to the next slide because it's quiet and then the students can't hear you uh, clicking around. So you're gonna be narrating it. And then um, I like to use um, some of the tools that come with the Screencastify. Um, will pop up if you move your mouse on it. One I like is called the pointer. And this is a handy little tool. It's a, just a little red thing. And then if I'm wanting them to read it, I could say, you know, drag my mouse under it or highlight something that way, okay? So I would just go through the slideshow, um, you know, as fast as I want to, depending on what I'm saying. And then when I am done, I am gonna go back up here to the video and I'm gonna turn it off. And they're not gonna be able to see me turning it off um, since I'm just recording on the tab. All right, and then it automatically pops up um, in the editor, I guess it is, or uh, viewer. Uh, so you're going to be able to see dire directly right away what you did. You, you, you can uh, clicking around. So you're going to be narrating it. And then, uh, so there you can hear my video. Um, so then you go through and make sure, you know, it's what you want. Um, if you do choose to edit it, it will change it into an MP4 file, which would be fine, except that Google uh, Chromebooks do not have an MP4 player on them. So the type of file that it's saved as right now is called a... Uh, uh, WebM file and what happens when you play a WebM file is it just opens right in the browser. The browser has a video player um, and that's what the Chromebooks use. Uh, so if you do edit it, um, keep that in mind that you'll have to then upload it to say YouTube uh, so that it can be hosted somewhere because then, uh, then they would go to the website to watch it. So um, I could share it right to my Google Classroom. I could publish it to YouTube. I can download it um, export it, whatever I want to do. Um, I'm going to show you how to share it to Google Classroom right now. So I just click on that and then it's going to ask me to choose my class uh, that I want to put it in and I'm going to make it, you can make an announcement, assignment, material, whatever you want to do. I'm going to create an assignment and then there we go, there's the file. You can see it's a WebM file, and then I can put my instructions on and, and whatever. And this file is saved in my drive, um, and I will show you now where that is. So if you go back to the video details, you can see all of your videos over here with this little thing right here, and you click My Recordings, and then all the videos that you've done will pop up. Or you can go back to your drive and there's a little folder in here that is created when you first start recording videos with Screencastify. It makes its own folder and then they are in here. And it is right here. That's the one I just recorded. And then you can put, make folders or move these or whatever. Uh, but once you move them, then they would not be available here anymore. So you have to be sure that you're ready to not have them available in there. So here is that video. I, I can click on it here, and this is opening on up the video like it would for the student. Okay, they can make it full screen just like you would any other video, um, and then take it back out of full screen. 
and then go back in here. And if I wanted to assign it um, from here, I can do that too. So I'm gonna close this out. I'm just gonna go to my Google Classroom and assign it from here. So classwork, create, I'm gonna make it an assignment and then I can add it directly from my Google Drive. It should pop up right here because that's a recent file. Um, or I can go to my drive to locate it in that Screencastify folder, and it's right here. So same thing right there. So if you don't attach it right away, you can do that. Um, if you have any questions about using um, these slideshows to make videos, I would be glad to answer them.